Eight years ago, Canon released one of their best ever telephoto lenses, the Canon 70-200mm f2.8L USM Mark II. And today, we're super excited to announce that we've got the Mark III, and we're going to take it out for a spin. Got him. So the Canon 70 to 200 mm f2.8 Mark III. It's a lens designed for sports, wildlife, landscape, studio work, and anything that requires you to have a long reach of zoom. It's got a maximum aperture value of f2.8 throughout its whole focal length, so you have a high control over depth of field as well as low light performance. In terms of specs wise, it houses a eight rounded blade aperture diaphragm, which means that you'll get nice pleasing bokeh, and with f2.8, you'll get nice separation and compression blur on top of that as well. In terms of the elements, it's got one fluorite element and five low dispersion elements to help with color fringing and chromatic aberrations. In terms of autofocus, it has the same internal USM autofocus motor that it does in the Mark II. The construction of the lens is completely weather sealed and houses a optical image stabilizer that compensates up to three and a half stops of camera shake. Where the Mark III differs from the Mark II, and it really is only a minor change, is the air sphere coating that is used to coat this lens, which is said to help with ghosting and flaring. So aesthetically with the Canon 70 to 200 Mark III, it is basically identical to the Mark II. Um, what's really important is they've changed the coat of paint, so it's a different white, if that's something that appeals to you. But apart from that, it's kept the same nice ergonomic design that the Mark II had. Uh, same switches, zoom rings at the back, focus rings at the front, focus rings nice and smooth, um, really big as well and quite well rubberized. The weird thing is with this though, the zoom ring on this seems a bit clicky. Now I'm not sure, we've got a pre-production model, so this may not be the final zoom ring. Um, or maybe someone else previous to us may have dropped it or something, but it feels a bit jittery. But other than that, still basically the same words. So after waiting eight long years for a lens update, I'm sure some of you would have liked more than just a lens coating or really expected more than just a minor update to the lens. Like for example, what I would have loved to see in another lens iteration is a complete overhaul of the optical image stabilization system. Like putting this up from a three and a half stop uh, compensation to a five stop compensation, that's something like that would have been huge and what I would have loved to see in a next iteration of a lens. Obviously, the Canon 70 to 200 f2.8 is such a staple lens, and there really isn't much for you to do. But I felt that just the coding update may not be worth it for some. So the best thing about the Mark III is it still borrows the same best performance features from the Mark II. Autofocus is still extremely snappy and very accurate. The stills from what I can see at the back are just amazing. They're super sharp. And optical image stabilizer works well, although I wish it could be a bit better. And let's not forget, it weighs a big, humongous 10 grams lighter than the Mark II. That's some good glass. If there's one thing Canon know how to make, it's telephoto lenses. They're so good. So with today's sample shots, we shot them on a Canon 5D Mark IV with a pre-production version of the 70 to 200mm f2.8L Mark III. It's good to know that the quality of the Mark II is still apparent in the Mark III. The lens produces super sharp photos and has quite a pleasing bokeh quality. Optically, there's nothing to complain about on the lens. From what I can see, it boasts identical image quality to the Mark II 
and I feel you would benefit from the extra air sphere coating during days where the light is not so forgiving, so the experience while shooting is a bit smoother. So my final thoughts on the Canon 70-200mm f 2.8L Mark III. Canon went with the approach, if it ain't broke, then don't fix it. It's got all the best elements of the Mark II in terms of performance from autofocus, optical image stabilization, optics, all of that jazz with a bit of a little cleanup from the Mark III in terms of its coating and freshly coated white paint. Should you upgrade to the Mark III if you're an owner of the Mark II? For me personally, optically it's not that much different so you may not benefit as much from the upgrade to the Mark III. However, if you've never owned a Canon 70-200mm f2.8 before, this is definitely the lens to go for and I see no reason to go for the Mark II. If you have any questions on the Mark III, make sure to pop them in the comments below. Make sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what we do and what events we run in store. If you enjoyed our video, make sure to like our video and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on our next video. Have a good one. So my final thoughts on the Canon 70-200mm 70 to 70 to If you've never owned a 70-200mm f2.8 Mark, Mark III, of course you've never owned it, it's not out. Oh! In terms of autofocus, it has the same 